hello and welcome to this video tutorial in the previous tutorial we created um, info windows now uh, I had promised you that we'll be creating tooltips uh, for Google map so this time we are going to create uh, tooltips now uh, I'll show you what uh, the final result um, so this is what we are trying to implement now uh, this is a map that I've created and there are two markers on it and uh, when I mouse over on a particular marker I have this um, info window popping up kind of an info window this is actually tooltip popping up and when I mouse over on the second marker I have a different um, tooltip that is popping up so this is what we are trying to implement now the reason why I have opted for tooltip is that this uh, particular yellow box that pops up um, can be customized in your own way that is um, you can um, you can have a variety of designs inside this thing but uh, info window does not give you that kind of a luxury so uh, so that's it um, that is one of the major um, difference now uh, if you click on this particular marker you can go to um, another page um, this is something which you could uh, build using uh, info window also and so we'll get started with uh, with the, the with the with the code yeah so this is my website um, I'll be uh, putting the code inside uh, this website so you can download uh, the code from this uh, website yeah so I'll get started with the code um, the code that you see over here is responsible for creating info windows I mean um, tooltips so it is really simple um, so I have uh, this HTML document and the first thing that I've included is uh, jQuery library from Google APIs so I highly recommend um, using jQuery library in th in this manner because this is much faster than um, putting jQuery inside your own folder um, or inside your own server and the next thing is um, obviously the Google um, um, Google Maps um, script uh, the next thing is um, style.css style.css is responsible for uh, um, for creating uh, different styles in, uh, in, in, in the tooltip now uh, the next thing is tooltip.js which is responsible for creating the tooltip um, and this is the script that we write for creating marker now we'll get started with the scripting part um, scripting part basically has uh, a document dot ready function which is initialized when the document is ready and uh, when this is initialized uh, it will call a function called initialize so um, this will call a function over here so here we are simply um, initializing Google Maps now if you're not uh, if you're not getting what this exactly is um, then I would recommend you to visit uh, or watch my previous tutorials on uh, how to create a Google Maps so over here um, this much code uh, will simply create a Google map a map on, on, on a particular div which is map canvas okay so this is uh, that div over here okay now I've given a width of 600 pixel um, and a height of 300 pixel I also given a margin of um, margin uh, left and right as auto now this these uh, property CSS property will always align my um, my div always at the center um, so yeah now I've also given a border of uh, one pixel solid and margin top of the 100 pixels so that is why uh, my I have this uh, map at the center. So yeah. Now uh, once I've done that, um, I've created a Google Map over here, um, and then I've created the first marker. Okay. Now uh, we'll do one thing. Um, instead of um, simply explaining the code, I'll just um, delete these things, and then we'll start off from scratch. Okay. So I'm gonna delete this. Okay. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a marker. So how? So I'm I'm gonna create a marker which is marker underscore zero. Okay, which is equal to Google new Google dot dot maps dot marker and then marker M has to be capital. Okay. Um, and then you have, you have um, the curly bracket inside and then you have to pass the parameters so first parameter that you have to pass is obviously the position of uh, the marker so position is going to be something like um, we'll just uh, take this uh, position itself 
okay I'll give this as uh, lat long now I'm going a bit faster at this portion because we have already done a tutorial on creating markers so okay now the next thing is uh, map is gonna be map so this map is uh, having the object of uh, object of map uh, and then description okay description is uh, a custom uh, thing that I've uh, given now description I'm gonna create a variable called content string content string okay now this content string is going to be something which which uh, pops up as Google um, to map tooltip so we are going to create a variable over here which is gonna be a content string and then um, we are going to create a div element which uh, and then style it and then um, we are going to put that div element into this particular variable and then assign it to this marker zero so I've already created a mark uh, a div uh, element so I'll just uh, save this and open this in Firefox yeah this looks something like this so this is um, gonna be a tooltip so okay now um, yep I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste it over here so inside single inverted commas then I'm gonna simply uh, delete all the put all, all all the content into a single variable okay so that um, now uh, the last thing that I put I need to put this in also inside this variable now h1 tags and finally the p tags Oops. and this I, I didn't close the div or you could you know instead of creating just one single line of uh, uh, developments you could create um, different uh, say something like you could also add uh, something like this uh, content string equals um, content string plus you know you could do um, something like this also so you don't have to create uh, the whole string in single line you could also do this like this so again I c if, if, if I want I can append another div uh, with the content string so this is another way of doing things so I prefer since uh, this is just a tutorial sake I just prefer this way so we have a content string over here which has a div um, which is styled ad and which looks something like this and uh, this is what we want as tooltip so I have assigned it um, to a variable called a key um, called descript or something like uh, okay descript uh, and then I have I'm going also I'm all, I'm going to create another link called um, and I'll link to my site that is um, http web text text dot in okay now um, I'll close this now the next thing that I want to do is um, add an event listener so you might be remembering what an event listener is event listener is something which um, tracks uh, some kind of uh, an action that is done for for example mouse over is an action click is an action so um, next thing that we want to do is create an event listener so before that we'll just check if things still here are working we if if we have a marker uh, on on the map so we'll run this in Firefox okay seems like I have an error so this I'll just open this and check if I check what the error is so content string description content string so I have an error around content string so this is an error so this should be a comma instead of semicolon so I'll refresh the page yeah it seems working but the pointer has not come yet will just yep pointer has not come yet um the reason for pointer not coming is okay the reason is um i didn't create a variable var marker is uh, so 
This time it should be working now. Still I do have issues with pointer. So I'll go back. Um, I'll just go back and then make sure that there's nothing wrong. Um, new Google Maps marker. Okay, position is lat long. Lat long is uh, yeah. And then uh, oh yeah, this is a problem. Map map is the map object over here. So actually I typed in M A R. So that was the mistake. I'll refresh the page and we'll see if uh, yeah I do have a marker over here. So I do have a marker, and this marker will have a, a variables description. I mean uh, D E S C R I P and uh, link um, saved inside this ma ma marker object. So if if I can if I can target this um, this pointer, then that el that that element will be having variables like description and link inside it so I can get um, the link and description now if I can get the description I can simply take that description and show it in a tooltip so we are going to do that so first of all we are we, we don't want uh, the tooltip to pop up every now and then we want the tooltip to pop up only on mouse over so we are going to create an event listener that is google dot event oops google dot maps dot event dot add listener okay l e t e r n e r and then we are going to target the marker zero and we want mouse over to be targeted okay and then when mouse over happens i want a function to be executed and I'll write the function inside here. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want to do is uh, create a variable, and then I'll just name it as box text, something like box text. Okay. For the time being, I'll just um, go with the code and then explain it. Then I'll create a div document document dot create element and then inside this I'll create a div okay and after that I'm gonna type in box text dot inner HTML and then inside that I'm gonna type in this dot description okay now the next thing that I'm going to type in is tooltip. Don't worry, I'll explain the code because um, this is something which I have already done. Then I'm just typing the whole code over here. This dot the uh, description. Okay. Now um, oh you don't want this. Sorry. okay now the whole idea behind this thing is simply we are tracking um, this marker that is marker 0 and we want to track every mouse over function mouse over function m o u s e mouse uh, mouse over function okay we want to track every mouse over and then whenever there is a mouse over initialize the tooltip and show the tooltip now uh, what do we need to show inside that tooltip is dependent upon this um, element that is this element currently stands for this marker so we are writing an event listener on marker zero so this will hold this is actually the marker I mean th this object is actually referring to the marker okay so when I type in this dot description or description the marker variable over here the marker object has a variable has a key called descript and that will be taken that is this content string will actually come over here so when i type in tooltip dot show this dot descript what we have is tooltip which has this variable which in turn is actually this div over here so it should be working i'll uh, refresh the page 
now I'll just yeah I have that um, div over there but the problem is I have mouse over on this but then when I take mouse out of this um, tooltip um, this uh, I mean when I take uh, the pointer out of uh, the marker the tooltip doesn't goes away so we need to write a code um, that will remove the tooltip when uh, when the point uh, when the pointer moves out of the marker so we need to write another event listener which is mouse out so and then on mouse out we want to remove um, the tooltip so simply write type in hide okay now I'll refresh the page and then I'm just gonna mouse over this particular tooltip and then I have this tooltip um, I'm gonna mouse over on the marker and I have the tooltip when I mouse out the tooltip is uh, removed so this is kind of uh, what we were trying to establish next thing is I want to create a click function on this and then open um, the corresponding page which is um, which was previously linked to this particular marker so how do, do how do I do that so the next event listener that I want to write is a click event listener so I type in google marker google map maps dot event dot add listener dot um, on marker zero so the next thing is click function oops click should be small letter click function and then I'm going to type in window dot open window dot open and then um, this dot link so what this does is it will get this element which is obviously the marker and then from that this element it will get the link uh, link um, okay so and then it will open that link inside a new window so I'll refresh the page um, I'll refresh my page and see if everything is working fine so I have this marker when I mouse over on on the marker I have uh, that link and then when I click on that I have my website popping up uh, so this is what we have uh, we wanted so the next thing is I want to create one more variable um, one more marker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the entire code and then going to paste it over here so here I'm just going to comment one thing um, end of marker 1 marker underscore 0 now the next marker that we are going to create is marker 1 so over here I'm going to change this and then I'm going to put in marker 1 and lat, lat long this has to be a different latitude and longitude so um, I'll just go to a, a website and get a latitude and longitude so I'll just um, uh, take some latitude and longitude okay now um, I'll go to a website and get the latitude and longitude of a place um, somewhere near to the uh, already Ma um, the previous marker so the previous marker was actually in Singapore and I'll zoom into that place okay um, Singapore oh where is it um, Okay, now I'll just uh, zoom into this place and I'll choose this variable, choose this place that is somewhere over here and I'll copy the latitude and then paste it over here. I'll also copy the longitude, oops, I just uh, took it the other way. I'll copy the, yeah. I just copied the wrong thing I'll copy the latitude and I'll co paste it over here and then I'll copy the longitude which is 103 point something and I'll also copy and paste it over here now uh, this variable is marker 1 so this is uh, yeah this content string is going to be the second uh, um, info window I mean the tooltip so uh, in order to understand this is so the second tooltip so I'm gonna create 
I'm gonna change uh, the heading. This is tooltip two. T W O, and then I also want to change the image. So this image is two dot gif. So instead of that, I'll just uh, go to this box over here, folder, and I uh, have this particular image that is one dot jpg, and I'll copy this over here. And now the next thing that I want to do is, uh, yeah, instead of um, marker zero, I'll just uh, copy and make it marker one so that we have even listener for marker one. So I'll go back to Firefox and then refresh my page, which is, uh, yeah, this one I suppose. Yeah, I have two markers. One is over here. This was a previously done marker. This is testing tooltip uh, with um, Flintstone image over there. And this is the second tooltip, which is uh, tooltip 2. So when I click on this, I have uh, the the site popping up So um, on a different window. So basically, uh, you know, um, we have created tooltip. But, you know, this kind of a yellow tooltip is uh, something which is not that good. But uh, you can apply your imagination and then create anything, um, any kind of tooltip you would like. Um, it's all up to your imagination. Uh, this kind of uh, uh, of a, of a, of a flexibility is not possible in in the case of info window. So uh, I'm not sure if uh, how many of you understood uh, this tutorial or how many of you will understand this tutorial. But then, uh, yeah, uh, uh, maybe I'm not 100% correct when I speak. But then these are the things which um, I kind of um, worked worked for me. So I thought I'll just share it. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. And do subscribe if you like my tutorials. Thank you.